This is my Peacock Mantis Shrimp Kush, and he's the OG Mantis Shrimp on YouTube. Now today started like any other day. He was in his cave, and he decided to come out when he saw his father at the glass. That's me. So I gave him a piece of krill, as usual, and he decided to eat it. But then he started acting kind of crazy. He was jumping around and doing flips, and it was almost like he was trying to warn me about something. So I took a couple steps back and I looked at the tank and that's when I realized that the water level had dropped significantly since last night and maybe Kush was right, maybe there is something wrong. So I decide to go down and look under the tank and sure enough there is a leak here guys. I am absolutely terrified right now because water is dripping, the water level is dropping and we need to save my mantis shrimp before this tank breaks. All right, guys, we're gonna get the mantis shrimp out of the tank. I got these nuts. So let's get the mantis out safely. Okay. Oh, yes. There we go, guys. Successful net. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay, so I released the mantis into this bucket and he's going to be safe in here for about 24 hours, but it's not going to take that long to set up this new tank. So first we're going to drain the old tank, get this thing empty, and now I can move it off the shelf. And look at that guys, we have a beautiful clean shelf here that I added some wood panels to. This is gonna disperse the weight across the entire rack. You guys saw I had only the metal rack before. That was why we got the leak. So now I put the 40 gallon on and we're gonna be able to fill it up with sand and water now. And we don't have to worry about the weight so we can put a lot of sand, fill it all the way up to the top and make this setup the best setup that I've ever made for a mantis shrimp. All right, so now that the tank is full, we're gonna go get some beneficial bacteria. This is gonna cycle the tank instantly. That means that there's gonna be no ammonia or nitrate that spikes. This is usually what ends up killing people's fish or their invertebrates. So this is why this is the most crucial step in setting up this tank. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the mantis shrimp out. Not, not, oh. Oh, oh, guys, oh, 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 shit. I gotta turn the light off. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. The next morning, Kush woke up like nothing happened. He was back inside his cave, just chilling, doing his thing. But I decided we're gonna make some changes to the habitat today. So I swapped out his cave for this little tube here. And this is going to allow us to watch the fight in perfect 4K quality with no interruptions. So I got this little emerald crab here. This is who the mantis is going to be fighting today. This is his first matchup in his new home. Let's see how it goes. Let's get it. Oh, yes, guys, he's pitching. He hit him once. Come on, Mantis. Come on, bud. Finish him off. Give me another punch. What are you doing, dude? Oh, he dropped him, guys. He dropped him. Oh, crap, guys. Okay, round two. I'm going to drop the crab right on top of the mantis again, and let's see what happens. Already on. Oh, oh. He's literally, like, under him, behind him. What is he doing? See him on him. That's like a thumbnail. Where is the crab? Like, behind him. 
first I thought Kush was just sitting on the crab, but boy was I wrong. Look what's about to happen, guys. He's like holding on to him. Yes. Oh my gosh. Guys, the crab is hugging on to him. He's literally hanging on to the bottom of him. Mm -hmm. The crab is underneath the mantis right now, guys. Guys, look at that. This is not okay. It's like a parasitic invertebrate on, on him, guys. He's latched onto my mantis shrimp. Guys, he's latched on. What is going on here? Oh my gosh, mantis, get him off of you somehow. This With the emerald crab grabbing on so strongly to my mantis shrimp, I didn't know what to do. I tried to let him go ahead and get him off. And he was hopping around, just hitting himself. Let's see if he can try to get it off. Oh! Wow, guys, look at that, guys. Yes, perfect shot. Oh, my. oh! He's punching it on himself. He's still on him, and he's punching it. Look at his tail right now, guys. You're going to be able to see the crab. This is exactly what he did. Oh, he's on him, guys. Look. He's on him. Oh! He punched him on his leg. Oh! Oh! Don't hurt yourself, buddy. Don't hurt yourself. Guys, the mantis is punching himself. Guys, he's literally punching himself because this crab... The crab will not let go, guys. Okay. Come on, buddy, hit him. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, he's beating the crab. Oh. Oh, it's still on him. Guys, it's still attached to him. No. No, he's tweaking. Guys, no. No. This is the spiral of death here. No, guys, he's so sad right now. And I don't know how to help him. Guys, should I be helping him right now? I don't know. I don't want to get, like, I don't want to get my finger destroyed. I want to help him. I just don't want to get my finger destroyed. I don't know if you guys think I should be helping him right now or what. Because this crab is like a, it's like a parasitic isopod. It is attached to him. Literally. All right, guys, so the crab, he's on the back of the mantis right now. So we're gonna try to access his back. Okay. Let's try to do this without upsetting Kush, guys. I don't know if this is possible, honestly. Okay, there's the crab, guys. There's the crab. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull it off of him. He's very uncomfortable here, guys, but I'm gonna try to get it off from here. Oh, Kush, sorry, sorry. We're close, Kush, we're close. We're gonna get him off of you. Oh my gosh, guys. The crab is freaking hard to get off. I think I, I need to get him to curl up in a ball again. Yes, jump on stuff, jump around. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, fuck. 
I don't want him to punch the glass, guys. I don't want him to punch the glass. Okay. Oh, how did that not work, guys? I thought I was going to get it there. Okay, we're going to try again right here. Oh, my God, this crab will not let go. Okay, the mantis is, like, submitting now. I'm going to try. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, guys, this is so stressful. Oh! This is so stressful, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Kush, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. This crab is fucking him up, guys. I've never seen a crab almost win against the mantis before. Oh, fuck. I need a second thing. Give me a second tool. Like this. Um, yeah, I'll try to go on this side of you. Because I moved the light. Just try your best, it's okay. Okay, guys. Oh, fuck, I don't wanna get pinched. You'll sacrifice yourself. Might have to. All right, I'm grabbing the crab, guys. I will mutilate this crab right now if I have to. We're doing surgery on the mantis, guys. I'm grabbing the crab as hard as I can right now. Let's go. I got him off, guys. I got yeah. him off. We saved the mantis shrimp, guys. We saved Kush. We saved Kush the mantis shrimp, guys. Look at him. I'm hoping he's okay after that. I'm really praying that Kush the Mantis Shrimp is okay after that. We finally got the crab off of him, thank God. I never would have thought that my Mantis Shrimp would have lost his first match to this tiny little crab over here, but his size being so tiny actually helped him in this way, and um, he was able to take the W against Kush today. This is really, really sad, guys. Everybody pray for Kush the Mantis Shrimp. We're gonna turn off the lights now, get him into his cave, and give him a piece of krill that he can eat while he goes to sleep. This is his first L, guys. Prayers up for Kush. He's traumatized. Okay, you can undo it. This guy's celebrating over here. He's throwing gang signs. Okay, you could, yeah, okay.